Hi guys, Kendia here with Simply Kendia. I'm here to share with you uh, the latest junk journal I just finished. Um, it's with an altered uh, Reader's Digest book from the 70s. Uh, it's a little bit of a smaller one than most of the Reader Digest. It's the um, spine is like a little bit shorter or than usual. So I added this beautiful lace, some burgundy fabric, this cute little tag that I had a piece of with some burgundy twine, stamped a clock on here, and added some of this trim that is this part of the lace underneath there, the tag. And did a little bit of stamping here with some cogs, and uh, here's the part of the this that I had cut off to use right here. So all the papers, there's three signatures, and I did leave the papers all plain so that whoever gets this book can decorate it up themselves. Um, some fun old book pages. This cute little envelope that um, I glued onto the back of the other envelope that will be further in the signature. They're em all the envelopes are empty, so they're ready for you to fill. Just different pieces of paper here. The, that's the fun of these junk journals though, isn't it? And then I made this little mini book with some of the cut off pieces of papers that I didn't finish, didn't use, get used up. Use some of the Edith Holden book pages in here. These are just so beautiful. I, kind of coordinated the colors with the colors that were going on in the book. Some old map pages, um, some old uh, architectural pages, the cutoffs of the maps that I used on, sewed on as a paper ribbon. So all these are real vintage pages. Even th this is an older this is new. That's the only paper that's new, but this is older, all vintage. And I left everything as it was because I just like, and even this vintage landscaping company's paper, because um, I like the way everything is um, in its own age. And then the designer paper is new as uh, um, though. Look at these, look like little, um, this little succulent I have that's called ogre ears. And um, this little plant, the moss cups, looks kind of like that succulent. And here's the other side of the envelopes, a little coin envelope here that you can put stuff in. So all the signatures are pretty much the same. The only differences are the designer paper in them and the Edith Holden pages. Those are the only difference in each signature. But it's all fun and plain, ready for you to make it your own. And here's my Simply Candia tag. So that is this journal. I hope you guys like it. And I hope whoever gets it enjoys it. It was fun to make. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.